Hey everyone, so welcome to the 13th lecture on the course Ordinary Differential Equation. So today I am going to take only examples on higher order linear differential equation with constant coefficients, homogeneous. And uh, if you have, my suggestion will be you please see my previous lecture on second order homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficients. So whatever we did there, theory as well as examples, here I am only going to generalize those examples to higher order. So I hope you will like these examples. I will try to cover each and every case. So make sure you go through each and every example. So the first case when all the roots are real and distinct. So if you have this fourth order linear homogeneous differential equation, the first thing is you do is you write the auxiliary equation. So in this case, the auxiliary equation is lambda raised to four minus 29 lambda square plus 100 equal to zero. So once I factorize, I get lambda square as 25 or lambda square as four. And when I take the square root, I get the roots as plus minus 5 and plus minus 2. Now, since all the roots are distinct, therefore, the four linearly independent solutions will be e raised to 5x, e raised to minus 5x, e raised to 2x and e raised to minus 2x. Since the roots are distinct, therefore, all the four solutions are linearly independent. That's the one reasoning you can give. Or you can find the Vronskian, which is nothing but the determinant of a 4 cross 4 matrix and that will come out to be non-zero. So these are the four linearly independent solution and therefore you take any general solution of this differential equation, call it as y of x, how it will look like? It will be nothing but c1y1 plus c2y2 plus c3y3 plus c4y4. So your any general solution for this differential equation will be the linear combination of these four linearly independent solutions. So when the roots are distinct, you simply take e raised to lambda x, your job is done. Now let's go for the second case when the roots are repeated. So this is the next example. So this is a third order linear homogeneous differential equation. This will be its corresponding auxiliary equation. And if you observe, this is nothing but lambda minus one the whole cube. So ultimately the roots are one comma one comma one. I mean, if you recall algebraic multiplicity, which you have seen in linear algebra, this one one one, that means the algebraic multiplicity for one is nothing but three because it is repeating three times. Okay, now question is what will be my three linearly independent solutions? So one will be, y1 will be e raised to lambda x which is 1. Now since the roots are repeated as we saw in our previous lecture on second order differential equation, when the roots are repeated what do you do? You simply multiply by x. So here in this case y1 is e raised to x, your y2 will be x e raised to x and your y3 will be x square e raised to x. So whenever the roots are repeated, what you will do is you simply adjoin the power of x and they will form the solution of the differential equation and they all will be linearly independent. How to check linear independence? Again, you have to find the Vronskian that will come out to be non-zero. But it's okay even if you straight away write this and then you can conclude that the general solution, you take any solution of this differential equation, it will be c1 y1 plus c2 y2 plus c3 y3. So this is how you have to deal with the solutions when the roots are repeated. Simply multiply with the power of x, x raised to 0 which is 1, x raised to 1, x square. Suppose it is 4 times, then the next one will be x cube e raised to x. Simply adjoin the power of x, your job will be done. Uh, one more thing, for linear independence, as I told you, you have to go by Vronskian method. When you had two functions, the previous lecture, you say y1 upon y2 is constant, dependent. y1 upon y2 non-constant, independent. Here you cannot say y1 upon y2 is non-constant, y2 upon y3 is non-constant and y1 upon y3 is not constant, hence independent. You cannot say like this, okay? There are three functions. When you take the ratios, they are not constant, but overall they are dependent. For example, cos 2x, sin square x and cos square x. So there is a relation between them, right? So they are, in, they are dependent functions. But if you take the ratios y1 upon y2, y2 upon y3, y1 upon y3, they will all contain x. Okay, so simply the ratios are dependent on x or independent of x. You cannot conclude when you have more than two functions. Okay, that technique is only good for two functions. So here you have three functions. If at all you want to check the independence, you have to show the Ravron screen is non-zero. And once you have three independent functions, your general solution is nothing but the linear combination of y1, y2 and y3. Okay, now let's go for the third example. Fifth derivative of y minus third derivative of y equal to zero. So you write down the auxiliary equation, you factorize this and the roots are 0, 0, 0, 1 minus. 
so this example is a combination of first two cases the distinct as well as the repeated loops now here since the 0 0 0 is repeating twice therefore your y1 will be what e raised to 0x your y2 will be x e raised to 0x your y3 will be x square e raised to 0x your y4 will be nothing but e raised to x and your y5 will be nothing but e raised to minus x so which is nothing but 1 x x square e raised to x and e raised to minus x and this 5 are linearly independent solutions to this fifth order linear homogeneous differential equation and therefore if you take the general solution it will be of the form c1 plus c2x plus c3x square plus c4 e raised to x plus c5 e raised to minus x so this is how you will solve the differential equation if you have the roots repeated as well as the distinct okay now let's go to the complex case now suppose you have some differential equation you find its corresponding auxiliary equation and, and suppose the roots are minus 2 plus minus 3i okay so obviously since two roots are there therefore it has to be some second order differential equation and uh, if you recall the formula how your solution will look like your y of x will be nothing but e raised to real part into x means e raised to minus 2x a cos imaginary part into x plus b sin imaginary part into x so this is how your general solution will look like and what is my y1 and y2 over here so here your y1 is e raised to minus 2x cos 3x and your y2 is nothing but e raised to minus 2x into sin 3x so these are two linearly independent solutions for the given differential equation when these are the roots okay so these two are independent therefore this is the general solution now suppose you have some differential equation and suppose these are repeated twice so what you have is minus 2 plus minus 3i these are repeating that means you will have four roots that means this is some fourth order differential equation you will have fourth degree auxiliary equation and the roots are repeated now our question is what will be my y1 y2 y3 y4 so y1 y2 as it is as i wrote now since they are repeating once therefore you apply the same technique so what will be your y3 what you do you simply multiply by x so your y3 will be x e raised to minus 2x cos 3x and your y4 will be x e raised to minus 2x sin 3x since it was repeating so you multiply by x so your y1 y2 y3 y4 will form linearly independent solutions suppose it is repeating one more time that means you have a sixth order differential equation you will get sixth degree auxiliary equation and the roots are repeating three times so what will be remaining you will get two more y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 you will get six linearly independent solutions so y1 y2 y3 y4 will remain same your y5 will be what it will be x square e raised to minus 2x into cos 3x and your y6 will be x square e raised to minus 2x sin 3x so it's the same technique you simply multiply with the powers of x to get linearly independent solutions so that's how you keep on adding powers of x to get the solutions so i hope this case is also clear now let me give you some homework problems you simply write down the general solution or you can write down independently as well so here are the three examples i have directly given you the roots because so you have some differential equation you have some auxiliary equation and suppose these are the roots for first example these are the roots for second and these are the roots for third example So make sure you write down the solution in the comment section and if this is clear that means you are comfortable with higher order linear homogeneous differential equation. So I hope this is clear. If you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you and yes do not forget to like share and subscribe.